Welcome to Electron Line. Our next video is going to show us how to use the control variable matrix in a, a two-dimensional situation. So here again we have an object which is moving in a vertical direction. It's subjected to an acceleration to change in velocity. So how do we handle that? It is this part of the state matrix equation that allows us to adjust for the acceleration. Here what we call the variables that control, these are the control variables that control the changes to the position and the velocity because now the acceleration is known in the x and in the y direction. This is the b vector, the b vector that translates the acceleration in the x and the y direction into a format so we can add it to the state, uh, the state matrix so we can update the position and the velocity at the next moment in time after delta t has elapsed. When we multiply these together, well first of all let's see if we can multiply them together because we have to have uh, the correct size uh, matrices. So this is a 4 by 2 matrix, 4 by 2 matrix, and we multiply that times a 2 by 1 matrix. You can see that the inner two numbers are the same so that is a permissible way to multiply them and at the end we're going to end up with a 4 by 1 matrix. So the result of this multiplication is a 4 by 1 matrix that of course has to match the format of the state matrix. Remember that the state matrix, the x sub k, is going to be equal to, that would be the x position, the y position, the velocity in the x direction, and the velocity in the y direction. And then this multiplication will then make adjustments to these from the previous state to the current state. So when we multiply, we get the following, 1 half delta t squared times a sub x, and 0 times a sub y. Here we have 0 times a sub x, 1 half times delta t squared times a sub y. Here we get delta t times a sub x, and 0 times a sub y, 0 times a sub x, delta t times a sub y. So here we have the adjustment because the acceleration to the position in the x direction, the adjustment to the position in the y direction, the adjustment to the velocity in the x direction, and the adjustment to the velocity in the y direction. This is how we get the adjustment to the state matrix using the correct B, for, the B matrix right here, that's what that looks like, and the control variables, the acceleration in the x direction, the acceleration in the y direction. We then add that to the multiplication we have here, A times X sub k minus 1. If we have noise, we have to add that as well. We're not going to go there yet. We'll show you in the, uh, at the end how to also take care of the noise factor. And on the next video, we're now going to combine these two equations into one. You can see then in a two-dimensional example how we adjust for the uh, acceleration for the velocity in the, from the previous state to the current state. So that's how we do that.